to see you again, Andrew. It's been a, been a few years. Just a few? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name's Grant Bowley, and I was a project manager on the Belair to Mount Isa pipeline. It was 848 kilometres of uh, natural gas pipeline from Belair in the south to Mount Isa mines in the north. It went through um, some beautiful but desolate country. It had a lot of challenges and we were trying to do it in a very quick time, one year. So my role on the job um, from day one as a, as a graduate engineer, not knowing anything about pipelines, so everything was a learning curve for me. Valerian Manizer was the, the longest pipeline um, constructed at, at the time and uh, is still the longest pipeline lengthwise we've constructed to date. The remoteness of, of the project was extremely challenging, um, especially for someone who, who'd never been on a pipeline job before. And, and that, that coupled with the extreme temperatures during the summer months, that, that to me was a huge challenge. 400 men and women on the, on the job of all different backgrounds, so they all had to work together. Took pains to introduce like the traditional owners to the pipeline construction, they'd never seen anything like it. And looking back at it, I was impressed how, how well engaged we were with the traditional landowners and, and the archaeologists to, to produce a successful outcome. So the, the, the pipeline construction spread was, was meant to start at um, Belair, which was KP0, and work its way north up to, to Mount Isa. Severe wet weather event caused us to rethink that basically reverse construction from Mount Isa, heading south to Bolera. It was like a military operation, really. We had, no one had ever tried to do um, 13 kilometres a day for 109 days. So we used the Challenger tractors. McColdow brought to this, this particular project for the first time, to my knowledge, a rubber tracked tow tractor with, with a a lifting arm, so that was known as a Challenger, um, Caterpillar Challenger, and that brought to the the pipeline uh, an efficiency never seen before, and is now very much commonplace on all pipeline jobs around Australia. Lots of local wildlife uh, on the job. Bilbies were um, one animal which we had to to look after, and that created a um, uh, a lot of rerouting of, of the pipeline. We had to zigzag for. 30 kilometres of zigzagging, but we got through that. All the problems we overcame with creative construction. Everything that we wanted to happen, happened. Mm. It's because we deliberately hired young engineers like Andrew and put them out there. Some came, they came to the office with me first when we were designing the thing, and then they went to site under Jeff Shepard and learnt about the construction, and, and they did each part of construction. And now they're, they're, they're still building pipelines for McConnell Town. Oh, yes, it was a perfect project. It was a great success. 24, 25 years ago when this job kicked off, it was, um, McConnell Town was known as, as, as a lead pipeline contractor in Australia. After that job was, was done very successfully, we, we were um, premier pipeline contractor in Australia and it was a, um, we, we set benchmarks that other, other companies struggled to even get anywhere near. And 450 people working as a team in the middle of nowhere achieving what they, what they set out to do and that's build a pipeline. We built it in 109 days. We had no accidents which is very pleasing. No lost time injuries whatsoever. Traditional owners were asking when, when the next job was going to be. So everyone was happy, that's the thing. So you're very proud. Yeah, outstanding project.